This is part one of parabolas, and on this video, we graph the following for parabolas. Let's say you are asked to graph the function f of x equals x squared. Remember, f of x can be thought of as y. So if you're thinking of graphing it on the xy coordinate, you could think of that as y equals x squared. Now, this is not a line because we have this x squared term. So let's see what it's going to look like. Let's put in some numbers for x and y. And remember that y is really just x squared. So if we know what x squared is, that'll be our y value. So how about plugging in some negative and positive numbers? Negative 2, ne negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. And keep in mind, you could pick any numbers you want, but I'm going to do these seven. You could put in some fractional numbers as well. So I need to square each of those terms. So put the video on pause and fill out what the y values for each of those x values is. You should get 9, 4, 1, 0, 1, 4, and 9. So let's graph these seven order pairs, negative 3, 9, negative 2, 4, etc. Put the video on pause and try this on your own graph paper. You want to be as accurate as possible. So these are the points. We've got negative 3, negative 9, negative 2, 4, negative 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 4, and 3, 9. Now keep in mind that these are just these are just seven ordered pairs. And there's infinitely many ordered pairs on this because because you can plug any number you want in for x. Okay? But this actually gives us a rough idea of what this looks like. If we try to connect the dots here, it looks like it's going something like this. Now, if you wouldn't have tried to put any negative numbers in here, you might have thought it looked quite differently. But as it turns out, I could see this shape that's being formed. Now, let's do another function. Let's do f of x equals x squared minus 4. Okay? Let's see what that would look like. So, I guess that's not a very good line here. Let's try to make it a little better. So, instead of x squared, I need to figure out what x squared minus 4 is. Let's pick the same points, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. And I want to do x squared minus 4. Well, notice I already know what x squared is if I look over at the green, so I just have to subtract 4 from each of those numbers. So, that'll be 5, 0, 1 minus 4 is negative 3, 0 minus 4 is negative 4. Um, 1 minus 4 is negative 3, 4 minus 4 is 0, and 9 minus 4 is 5. So I get these ordered pairs. Let's plot those. I've got negative 3, 5. So if I go negative 3, it's up here. I've got negative 2, 0. That's right here. Negative 1, negative 3 is right there. 0, negative 4. 1, negative 3. 2, 0, and we've got 3, 5. Okay, it looks sort of like the same shape, except it's lower. Okay, so the blue one is y equals x minus 4, x squared minus 4, if you want to write it as y equals. It looks like this green parabola just moved down four spaces. And in fact, if you look at the y values, you can see each one is four units down. So like at zero, zero, if you go down four units, one, two, three, four, there's a dot down here instead for the blue one. And that's what happened when I had this minus four. What do you think it would look like if I did f of x equals x squared plus, let's say, two? What do you think that might look like? Try it, either by putting in some ordered pairs, you know, making a table, and putting, writing those ordered pairs, or see if you can get it some other way. 
Well, as it happens, everything does just go up two spaces. So if I take something on this green one, if I go up two spaces, I'm going to get it. This one goes up two spaces, and this is going to be way the heck up here. Four spaces up. Not a very good uh, <laughs> graph, but um, it is at exactly uh, supposedly the same parabola. Ah, used a new word. This shape that you see here, this kind of U-looking shape, is called a parabola. Now, there's something interesting about all of these parabolas. They have symmetry. So if you look, it looks like, you know, if you look halfway in between, it looks the same on the right side as the left side. There's something called an axis of symmetry. Also, all of them have this minimum point where things start changing. So if you look at the blue one, to the right, it's kind of going up to the right. On the left, it's going up to the left. So there's this turning point right here. And these are called the, the ver each one is called the vertex of the parabola. So a parabola always has a vertex, which is either going to be a minimum or a maximum point. Some parabolas will go down, and we'll be doing some parabolas go down later. There will be a maximum point. The three I've done here all have a minimum point. All right, so what's a parabola? A quadratic function is a function that can be written in the form f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, or y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are real numbers. Those are the coefficients for a and b and then the constant. And a, the coefficient of x squared, is not equal to 0. So there has to be an x squared term is what that means. And when you graph it, it's called a parabola. So what we've just done is graph three quadratic functions that happen to be parabolas. So let's look at those again. So I had f of x equals x squared, f of x equals x squared minus 4, and f of x equals x squared plus 2. In all of these, the, the value of a would be 1. That's the coefficient of the x squared. And there is no x term, so that means the b is 0. And then the constant term c for this first one was 0, because there was nothing added or subtracted. For the next one, it was negative 4. That would be your value of c. And for f of x, your value of c would be 2. In this form, notice the y-intercept is always going to be the c value, because the x term, if you put in 0, you'll get 0 plus or minus 2, whatever that number is. So notice that those give you the y-intercepts. OK, so these are what I call, you know, just the basics of what a parabola might look like. And I'm going to call this first one we did f of x equals x squared. That's my kind of average-looking parabola. I just memorized these seven ordered pairs, or I could quickly figure those out again. You're just squaring the number. Pretty simple. So let's come up with um, some information about these. OK, a function of the form f of x equals x squared plus c is a parabola opening upward with vertex 0 c. All right, so let me show you how I would do a problem if I had something in this form. OK, it said graph f of x equals x squared minus 6. One thing you could do is simply plug in a bunch of numbers for x and y. This is what I do. I realize the vertex point is going to be 0, 6. So I'm going to say v, the vertex point, is 0, negative 6. So I find that, and that's going to be right here. OK, now wherever the vertex point is, I haven't talked about this yet, there's what's called axis of symmetry. What it means is the parabola is symmetric across that line that goes through the vertex. And I kind of pretend that's like my origin, 0, 0. And then I remember the ordered pairs we had before for just the average looking parabola. And so starting here, I'll just go over 1 and up 1. Then starting from the vertex, I go over 2 and up 4. And I go over 3 and up 9. And then I match them on the other side. So there's going to be a point over here, here, and here. And to me, that's the easiest way 
to graph a parabola. Now, the other way to do it is you could just actually plot some of your own points. You could actually make another chart instead, x, figure out what x squared minus 6 is, but you need to know where that vertex point is. So the vertex point is at 0, negative 6, and the last thing is the axis of symmetry is a vertical line, all vertical lines in the form x equals whatever the x coordinate is of the vertex. So x equals 0 is called the equation of the axis of symmetry. Okay, more on the next video.